Hey guys, wonder why you're feeling kind of blah these days? Like you're stuck in a hamster wheel of bad news? Expensive ramen and endless Twitter wars? Well, it turns out you're not alone. A huge survey dropped some major truth bombs about how Americans are feeling. And let's just say, it ain't exactly a party. Let's break down the vibes. Imagine a giant thermometer taking the temperature of America's soul. This survey by fancy research people called Gallup is basically that thermometer. And guess what? The suffering dial is off the charts. Like one in every 23 people are feeling super down in the dumps, a level not seen, since your grandparents were fighting over radio stations. But even the folks who aren't totally bummed aren't exactly doing cartwheels. The Gallup survey found out that about only half of us are really thriving in the current world, which is kind of sad when you think about pre-pandemic and pre-inflation pizza parties. So, what's got everyone sighing like a deflating unicorn? Buckle up because we're diving into the four big mood busters. Number one. Money mayhem? Remember that treadmill where you run your butt off but never get anywhere? That's kind of how things feel financially. Prices are skyrocketing faster than your TikTok follower count. Rent is a hungry monster chasing you. And that raise feels like a distant mirage. You hustle, you grind, but it's like trying to fill a leaky bucket with ramen noodles. Everything just dribbles out. This constant pressure makes you feel like your shoulders are carrying the weight of a small planet, making it hard to even crack a smile. Number two. Political ping, pong. Remember that playground game where you toss a flaming ball back and forth, yelling at each other to catch it? That's basically our current political scene. Both sides are throwing blame like bad frisbees, yelling sound bites instead of solutions, and never actually passing the damn ball. It's exhausting, frustrating, and makes you feel like we're all stuck in a never-ending shouting match instead of building something cool together. This constant negativity seeps into your brain like lukewarm coffee, making it hard to see the sunshine through the storm clouds. Number three. Fading friendships. Remember when hanging with friends felt like the ultimate chill zone? Like laughing over pizza, planning epic adventures, and feeling like you belong to something bigger than yourself? Yeah, those days are getting rarer than a decent Wi-Fi connection in the wilderness. Thanks to the pandemic and our screens basically becoming second faces, real life connections are flimsier than a TikTok trend. We scroll through endless feeds, liking things to feel connected, but genuine human interaction is the missing ingredient in our friendship soup. This isolation can feel like you're floating in a lonely bubble, missing the warmth and support that makes life feel complete. Number four, climate catastrophe. The planet's not doing so hot, literally and metaphorically. News about wildfires, floods, and melting glaciers feels like a constant barrage of bad news. It's hard to ignore the looming threat of climate change, especially when it feels like we're all on a sinking ship with no paddle. This anxiety about the future, this feeling of being powerless to stop the storm, can be a heavy weight on your heart, making it hard to enjoy life. But hey, newsflash, we're not just helpless hamsters on a wheel. This might feel like a dark time, but remember, even the darkest nights eventually give way to dawn, and hey, if you're feeling down, drop a comment below. Let's start a conversation and remind each other that we're not alone in this crazy, beautiful thing called life. So stick with me because I'm about to drop some awesome tips on how to take back control and turn those frowns upside down. Four ways to slay the suck and boost your vibes. First, friend power, activate. Remember that time you laughed so hard with your friends, you snorted milk out your nose? Yeah, those connections are pure gold. So dust off your social skills. It might be under that mountain of laundry and reach out. Call your best friend for a gossip session. Invite your fam over for a board game night or join that club you've been eyeing. Hello, fellow cat enthusiasts. Real life interactions are like sunshine for your soul, warming you up and chasing away the gloom. Bonus points for meeting new people. Who knows, you might just find your next partner in crime for conquering karaoke night. Second, control what you can. Let's face it, the world's a bit of a hot mess right now. You can't control the price of avocados or the latest political drama, but you can control things like what you eat, how you move your body, and how much sleep you get. Whip up a healthy and delicious meal, crush that workout playlist like nobody's business, and snuggle into bed early for a sweet escape into dreamland. Taking care of yourself is like throwing glitter on your mood. It adds sparkle and reminds you that you're worth feeling awesome. Here is number three, Karma Boomerang. Remember that feeling when you hold the door open for someone and they smile brighter than the sun? Yeah, that's the magic of kindness, baby. Volunteering at a local animal shelter, helping a neighbor with their groceries, or even just offering a warm smile to a stranger. 
These small acts of kindness ripple outwards, making the world a lot more magical. And guess what? That good karma boomerangs right back to you, boosting your mood like a double espresso shot but without the jitters. And here's number four, therapy. Feeling overwhelmed by life's curveballs? Talking to a therapist isn't just for people with fancy couches, although comfy furniture is pretty awesome. Think of them as your personal mood cheerleaders. They'll listen without judgment, offer helpful advice, and equip you with tools to navigate life's rough patches. Plus, venting about your anxieties to someone who actually gets it can feel like a giant weight lifted off your shoulders. So ditch the stigma and embrace the mental health magic. You deserve to feel happy and supported, fam. Remember, we're all in this crazy, beautiful thing called life together. So let's support each other. Spread the good vibes with one high five, with one act of kindness, and one therapy session at a time. So yeah, America's kind of suffering right now. But we're all in this boat together, and we can weather the storm if we focus on what matters most, our own well-being and the connections that make life worth living. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing.